PD5 Pilot with you out at the Hillsborough Hangar on a Thursday. It's just about noon. I've got this thing heated up to uh, close to 60 degrees, so it's a little more comfortable to work with your hands. And I'm about to become a CAN bus expert. So the CAN bus is how the Garmin G3X system communicates with uh, all of the components. And it requires shielded cabling, a special uh, type of cable. And uh, I've got these all prepped with the shielding exposed. This one's getting ready to, uh, I can look at it through here. This one's getting ready to uh, do the soldering job on so I can put the uh, shield drain on that's gonna attach to the uh, connecting part that uh, plugs into the back of the instrument itself. And uh, I did, I went out and bought nicer side cutters, thanks to uh, David, and uh, got a better Weller soldering unit and uh, this one was this one was kind of cool this I bought and then, then adjusted the little razor blade so I could put that around that cable and uh, make a nice score for uh, cutting it away but I've got all the can bus parts laid out right now and gonna do the soldering and then I'll put the heat the uh, heat shrink over there that'll have the label and then I'll get the rest of the uh, ends prepped because I'm going to have to splice a piece in since that ends up going into one pin and you only want one wire going into a, a pin when you crimp it on. You don't want to try to put two wires into one of those uh, pins but just about to get the CAN bus part finished and then it'll be doing the serial ports, RS-232 ports which there's a few of those to do also and uh, wish me luck on, uh, on the soldering job here. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got something else to show you. That is a twip. So this holds the solder. And uh, I already pulled the solder that it came with, which would have been a non-leaded solder, and switched it with some good old 6040 lead solder, uh, which is a lower melting point, better for aircraft applications too, because it's softer. And uh, so this will help hold that solder in place as I get ready to solder these on. And no, I'm not going to show you me soldering away. I'll go ahead and make all my mistakes and then I'll get it done to make you think I did a perfect job. Okay, so there we have all the shield drains soldered into place. That whole group over there and just about ready to take and uh, put the heat shrink over them and we'll make little labels and then we'll uh, have the rest of the wires uh, prepped too. So now all the RS-232 lines, so all the serial lines that run up to connect the instruments, as well as this, this little one that goes manually between. Well, get focused. There we go. Goes between the uh, GDU-460 to the GSU-25, just like the instructions told me to do. And then I've even got the uh, CAN bus goes out to the GMU-11 in the wing. And then it runs up to the uh, GEA-24 from the wing side of things. So that, those are the two wiring harnesses that need to be joined now. So as soon as I finish the uh, little bridge to go across to the left wing here and uh, and button that up, I'm actually ready to put the wings on, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on that until I get the... Uh, rest of this wiring harness done inside of here. But alas, this turns out to be a good place to uh, stop. Uh, I do also have the audio lines to do, and those only get, uh, the, the shielding only gets connected on one side of those to uh, minimize noise. And uh, so I'll get those done on the weekend, and then we'll get to uh, putting some things together, which uh, May promise to uh, start a little power up to this thing. Let's go see if we get it done uh, this Saturday and Sunday. BD5 Pilots out for now. Y'all have a great week.